Go. Hi, Pam Bivens here, and I am here with my accountability partners. The first one is Tina Meeker and Judy Sovereign. We're going to be doing trainings today on Facebook, how to promote on Facebook. Okay, so the first one up will be Tina. So, Tina, take it away. Hi, my name is Tina, and I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to use the social media bar. So, this is the site for a social media bar, and you'll just want to scroll down. And right here where it says the URL, URL slug. Tina. Tina? Yes. Screen share. Oh. <laughs> All good. <laughs> Not a problem. We can do this. Yeah. <laughs> hey, there you go. Yeah. Somebody had to mess up. It might as well have been me. <laughs> okay. See, anybody can do this. Yeah. Not a problem. Okay. Let's go. Okay. So, okay. Now, now can you see my screen? Yes. Okay. So, right here on the URL slug, you're going to want to enter the, your title. Of or not your title, but a name. You're going to want to name it. So I am going to do mine um, three, and then dash. Three decisions. The next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put your your destination URL in there. So I'm going to come over here. Copy paste. Oops. Okay. And it will paste right in there. The next thing you want to do is put your your um, page title. So for time, I'm just going to go ahead and put the the three decisions in there as well. Oops. Okay, and then you want to put a little description in here. So um, this is actually my blog that I did on decisions. And that's all I'm going to put in there for right now. But you can write whatever you want as, as much as you want. Um, <clears throat> the next thing you'll want to do is come down here to the to the image URL. And you're going to need to, to put a, a picture in there. So we're just going to come over here to Google Images. And I just typed in um, decisions right here. And we're on Google Images. So I'm just going to hit go. And I like this one right here. So what you do is you just left click. And then you come over here to view original image. Open that up. And there's your image. You come up here to this bar here. And you want to copy paste the URL. And you go back down here and just paste. Now, when you hit the create link button, um, if your title up here, your your uh, URL slug up here, the three decisions, if it's already been taken, it's going to tell you it it was taken, and you'll just have to. It's okay. You just have to put a different title in there. So let's give it a minute and see if it takes it. And it did. So I'm just going to click on on the um, the link right here. I'm going to copy. Then I'm going to go over here to Facebook.
maybe. <laughs> okay, and I'm just going to paste right here. Why isn't it coming up? There. Okay, there it goes. So I'm going to, to just clean this up a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and take this part out. And, I'm, and you can write something in here if you want. So I'll just say, this is my blog. And I'm going to post. And then you can just click on the, on the image anywhere. And it should take you right to my blog. And there it is. And this is how it, it looks. Perfect. So that is how you make a social media bar. <laughs> it's real simple, real easy. And it's nice and clean on your page when you when you post it on your Facebook. So I hope that you have enjoyed that little presentation. My name is Tina. Next one is Pam. Hey. Hi. Now, I am going to be doing my presentation on how to promote your fan page from Facebook on InPower Avenue. And hopefully, you've got your Facebook fan page started as well as an account with the Empower, Empower Avenue. So let me go ahead and show you a few things on that. Here we go. And I'm going to go to the fan page first. Now mine is not not completely set up, but uh, I do have the URL for it to be able to plug it in. Okay. Now what I'm going to do I'm going to go over to Empower Avenue. Now, let's see, just to give you a little bit of an overview on Empower Avenue. Now, this is my home page. And you can put in all your social media stuff here at the uh, in the middle where you could to for your connections and and everything all the people that give you shout outs and it's always very comforting to know that there's always people there to ask questions to as well <laughs> okay now up here when it says e that is your play money now if you need to get more of the play money you need to complete a few of the missions yourself to bump that up now i just while practicing i took some of that and created a mission. What we're going to do is go over to missions and look at some of the other missions that are out there and what they're asking for. Now since this is all about promoting your fan page, we're going to need to just look at how you want to have that stated. Now go through No, that's for WordPress blog. That's cute from Slav. I, I like going through to see see what they um you're going through. There you go. Let's take this title and copy that. And that way we can mix it up a little bit when you go and create your own. So you where it says my dashboard oh actually that's just all the ones that I've created here it says create missions so that goes directly to it so here are your title we're going to like my fan page for they wanted 1000 well I'm gonna put it up to three let's get a little bit more action going to it since it's literally free money it, it's um, almost like a Fiverr 
but you don't really pay them. So that it's like a win-win in both directions because you get them exposure and they give you your exposure at the same time. So here we want the type. We want them to go to a URL, which would be your fan page. And here you want to give them a little bit of the details. Go to my, and I'm, you know, let them know it's a new, a new fan page. In Facebook. And like for 3K. How about that? That would get my eye. So I figure if it gets my eye, it'll get somebody else's eye. <laughs> so here we're going to copy your URL for your fan page. Copy that right in there. And we want to give them ease for payout. Every once in a while, I've seen missions that, you know, if they don't, it's like they're brand new and they don't really have any ease to give you. They go, you know, you like me, I'll like you kind of thing. And they'd be able to do that type of mission as well. But I'm going to go ahead. I've got plenty up here to play with. All good. And we're going to put it to 20. Some, you know, you can go down as, as low as the 10. And it does have the opportunity of going either non shareholders, shareholders, or anybody. I like mine to go to everybody. So give everyone that opportunity. So if they're new, they can go in and take part in this. Yeah, just for everyone. And I always email my shareholders because I want them to get first crack at it. So everything looks good. So now we're going to save and preview it. There we go. And like your fan page for 3,000. Easy details. You can go ahead and check your link. Every once in a while, people leave things out. That's perfect. So we go back. And I'm going to go ahead and just start it. And this will they'll tell you that they're taking out that many E's from what you've got sitting there. And they take that off right off the top. And you'll notice my E's will go down real quick. <laughs> and so, and, and see, the last one that I started was not even 20 minutes ago and I already have eight takers. So if anything, it's real easy to get activity on these, especially if you, you know, make it work their wild. And that way you can tell from here who's partaked, who's actually uh, commented on your, your mission and everything. So we, we can, you know, you can always go and invest in them and make it to where it's like, woohoo. And there you go. And that is my training is this, get some activity to your fan pages. So, Judy, you're up. Hi, my name is Judy. I'm going to be talking to you about Snagit. It's a really cool tool that I just learned in the last couple of days and it this tool is really great at making your things that you want to share stand out. So I'm going to go to sh screen share and make sure when you go to screen sh share that you go to full screen otherwise it won't share everything. That's a mistake I made trying to do this earlier. Okay, so what we're going to talk about today is showing off your graphics, highlighting great results, edifying team members, show your ranking in Google, highlighting a win, and then I'm going to show you how the tool works. So here is, I borrowed a couple of images from, Al, from Erica, from Team Alex and Erica, and 
because they were so cool. So this is in the back office of Alex and Erica and what they're showing here is residual income versus guru money. So the red arrows are pointing to $25 and $100 commissions and the guru money is pointing to $500, $1,000 and $3,000 commissions. So it's a really cool way of showing how income in your back office. And then this one is highlighting a great result. So one of the things that some people like to know is the actual day and time that you got this result. So this one's showing 108 on Thursday, March the 21st. And if you notice, the big yellow arrows are pointing to the actual result, which you probably can't see, but the result is $3,000. And so that's a really nice payday that day. And then this one is an example of edifying team members. So this is Tina, who actually talked about this blog post. And I didn't know she was actually going to talk about this. And it was the one on decisions. And she actually had her video on decisions on that blog post as well. And as a result of that video, there was another lady in our group named Santa that saw Tina's video and was able to empower herself to write another really great blog post. So Tina inspired someone. So a way of edifying Tina is to put in that starburst with that arrow pointing to it, highlighting the actual part that was important to Tina, and then putting a red circle around it so that it's really highlighted. And in this particular one, this is Erica, and she did a blog post on how to break a prenuptial agreement, and it ranked in first page of Google in 34 minutes and so she highlighted the 34 minutes and she highlighted the red arrow and if you're wondering why I'm not pointing to things is because a lot I tried this before and every time I touched my screen it changed the screen so that's why I'm not pointing uh, using my arrow to point to the things that I'm talking about so I hope you get what I'm saying and then this one is an example of how la, how you could highlight a win. And I'm I'm a member of Super uh, Women of Team Ta Take Massive Action, and we have a daily female power call. And one of our team members, Team Alex and Erica Kyra Spry, was featured last week on that daily power call. So what I what an example is here is you could actually highlight the box by putting the red coloring around the box and making another box that says way to go Tyra so an example of highlighting a win so we've finished with those so what I want to do now is I want to show you how to make the tool work so here's the tool and it's called Snagit and Actually, before I do that, what I wanted to show you is the tool I used to use, and that was a snipping tool. And I still will use snipping tool, but snipping tool was really limited because it could only do what was showing on my page. So if that was all I wanted, then that would be fine. But sometimes you actually want to show the whole or a whole page. So in comes Snagit. So if I were to make sure that it's set to image there and the scrolling window there and click this red button and you see this yellow arrow here I'm going to click that and what it's doing is the the tool is actually going to start scrolling down this page there we go and ta-da here we have the full page in our Snagit tool. Isn't that cool? This tool is worth it just for that alone. Okay, so the reason I picked this particular post was that the keyword was hugged by a lion and one of our team members of Alex and Erica wrote a post about hugged by a lion on March the 4th, 2013 and today is April the 1st, 2013 and it's not an April Fool's joke and he's still on page one of Google and so if I wanted to edify this there's a few things that I could actually do actually I don't need that part anymore so the first thing I want to do is I want to put an arrow on it. 
So Pam, can you see this? There we go. So yes, I'm taking, I can. Okay, that's good. So what we're doing is we're scrolling down the whole page and we're pointing this arrow to one. And then I want to do something with this arrow. So let's make it thicker and make it as wide as we can go. And I want to change the color to red. So there. So that's the first thing we can do is we can put that arrow. And if I wanted to, I'm not going to do that, but if I wanted to, I could make this a squiggly as well. So I've made it straight, but that it allows it to go to a squiggly if you want a, if you want a squiggly arrow as well. And there's other arrow options as far as the arrows go. So the next thing I want to do is I want to actually highlight in yellow this particular posting. So there we go. We've got that highlighted. And then if you notice before, I had a circle. So I'm going to put a circle here and I'm going to make it bigger. And then I'm going to move it. There, so that really shows up that that number one. And let's say I want to do a call out to John. So we'll go up here and I'm going to put a box. Okay, and I want to change the color of that box to black. And then I want to put some text in it. So I'll pick this one and I'll make another box over here and I'll go way to go John and I want to highlight that and make it bigger so I'll do say 26 is the size and I want stencil and I want to change the color to white and I'm going to take that and move it over and put it in the box. So I'm not saying that you necessarily want to do all of these things on this particular post, but this is really a, a some of the things. There's all kinds of other things. There's the starburst and the check marks and and you can have underlines and there's other things that you can play around with but the, you get the you get the idea of what I'm trying to show here and then you save this and then you go post it on wherever you're looking to post it on Facebook and when you are going to post it you want to make it somewhat personal so I know about John that he's a single father with a couple of small children and one of the things that he wants to do is he wants to be able to be home with his children as much as possible and have provide them a really good life so when you're posting this particular thing about John then you could also refer to a little more detail about what you know about John to make it much more interesting and personable as far as the post goes so that's all I had to share with you today about this particular Thing and I'll bring it back and so I hope you got some good information from the three of us today about how to make your Facebook better and and if you did and I'm sure that you did then please click the link below because we've got so much more training that we can offer you so click the link below and we'll see you again